The main concept of this house is to give a pockets of courtyards and how to take all the trees or landscapes into our house. For exterior and interior, we used the jali concepts and all. That's why the name White House. It's actually near to the beach. Most area is residential and highly vegetated area. So in the first site visit itself, in my mind, the thought came is how to take this breeze inside the house and how to maintain the vegetation also. Actually, there was an existing house was there, an ancestor property house was there. So what we desired is the first meeting itself. Uh, we can demolish the existing house and there we can make the house because we don't need to cut the trees also. So even in their retirement life also, they can enjoy the nature and all. It is almost uh, 41 cents of land. The neighborhood uh, house is coming, the existing house, one house is uh, here situated on the right side and the left side of the welcoming space itself. But the house we designed to, uh, we thought to design it's in the backyard of the, uh, where we are getting the broad space and in that space you won't get any, you, can see, you can't see any houses or anywhere and the back side it's, uh, it's their own existing uh, paddy field they are having. So, this is the road space and the road is facing towards the east direction and uh, coming to the entry space uh, we just give uh, uh, a narrow passage for the driveway of the uh, towards leading towards the car porch area here coming to the uh, ground floor plan we have a huge sit out space is there uh, which can accommodate a lot of people and uh, in the veranda kind of seating also and uh, either side of the sit outs we provide one planter box uh, with uh, plenty of plants and uh, uh, one side we provide a koi fish pond also coming to the flooring material uh, we just provide a sparkle black uh, which giving a glittering kind of uh, feelings uh, same as like a granite that feeling we are getting uh, when at the time of uh, night when the lighting comes out uh, you can get the glittering space and all which is good for an aesthetical uh, point of view also we are entering opening the main door uh, you can see a guest living space whoever the guest is coming the guests have the visibility towards the courtyard a huge courtyard space that we provided here from the guest room we are leading to the passage uh, there we are seeing the volume of space that we desired here is the puja and either side of the puja space also we give the uh, bamboos and uh, uh, kalatia this kind of a plants also the left side of the puja you can see the parents room in front of the space is even the parents can also see the who the guest is coming uh, or who's the guest is sitting and easy access to the guest also and uh, coming to the right area you can see the wash basin space and uh, from the dining space also we just give a uh, one uh, pocket courtyard that is an external courtyard this space is clubbed with uh, open kitchen and uh, dining concept and uh, having the courtyard of uh, puja is there and uh, and this space is the main uh, core space of this uh, white house and having the double height space also whoever is working in the kitchen they will have a good communication between the person who is sitting there and uh, that's why we provide open kitchen and they also can enjoy the internal courtyard also and uh, you can see the play of lights at the time a time of uh, uh, afternoon sessions and all uh, we follow the same pattern of uh, wooden and the white combination which which gives the uh, more importance for the minimalistic in the as well as in the kitchen space also and the toppings with the uh, uh, quads and all we provided so a lot of uh, play of lights you can get in this double height spaces opposite to the courtyard we just give the vertical circulation of the staircase and in the staircase also we just give a planter boxes we designed their uh, family living uh, which is dedicated uh, to their family space and 
The main thought process that we came here is uh, we provided a, uh, a linear courtyard which is uh, connecting uh, between the uh, master bedroom and uh, family living room and we provided it in the southwest corner itself and uh, from evening's time onwards uh, you can see the play of lights. So this living room is uh, situated very adjacent to the master bedroom also. It's like a suite room kind of a concept. And the main specifically in this uh, house uh, we did, uh, we didn't do any fall ceiling uh, consideration or uh, nothing we did for this. Uh, for uh, giving the more importance for the light and all and uh, calculating the how much intensity of light is needed for a per space. Accordingly we designed the light concept also. And uh, backyard of the TV space is uh, we just give a copper shade of a textures with a with the metal beadings over there uh, which give a good attractive space on the TV wall also. This is the master bedroom of this house and as per the Kerala was to be uh, we situated uh, this uh, uh, master bedroom in the southwest corner and moreover that according to the climatic condition also the wind flow is from the southwest corner so a good breeze is coming to the master bedroom even uh, in the night time or any other time they are uh, using this bedroom they can open up and they can enjoy the courtyard at the same time a good breeze will come from that area and the main highlighting on this uh, bedroom is uh, we just provided a Mm, uh, conduit lighting over here it's uh, which is blend to the interior uh, concept almost in every interior we follow the same kind of minimalistic kind of thing in the master bedroom also with the wall paneling which is having the concept stay same as like uh, their uh, every bedroom doors and even in the front door and all as a lower system kind of things that we adopted in every each and everything even the gold beading of these things and uh, it's the same kind of thing for the handles and profiles and everything uh, what all things needed in the master bedroom in this limit area we just give provided every of their needs and uh, everything uh, and uh, coming to the first floor area then uh, you can see a library space uh, they, uh, they this is one of their requirements they just want a library space uh, at the same time uh, in the southwest corner that we gave a, a courtyard the jallies are coming into the first floor also we just open up uh, the southwest area also to get the good wind flow inside the uh, library space and even in the daughter's room also. The first floor master bedroom is also situated uh, in the same as like a ground floor master bedroom uh, that, that is their daughter's bedroom and uh, the first floor having two bedrooms for uh, their two daughters and uh, so they just want to keep privacy for their daughters and all. Coming to their first floor daughter's bedroom. Uh, we just give a wardrobe over uh, the entrance space itself and uh, one attached toilet is also uh, we provided for this uh, bedroom and this bedroom having uh, another uh, space is uh, which is leading to the open balcony space and uh, from there itself you can see the end air view of the uh, front uh, existing landscape and all and at the same time from the bedroom itself you are getting a uh, cross ventilation and uh, we just give an inside uh, window also and uh, this window is opening towards the puja courtyard coming to the material combinations of uh, uh, the fabric combination of this bedroom we just give the beige kind of concept and a beige and white kind of concept uh, which is uh, uh, giving a pastel kind of uh, shades inside the bedroom and it will give the calm and quiet atmosphere and the same uh, kind of a one bedroom for their uh, second doctor also that is um, uh, in the front space of the house and uh, it's having an attached uh, toilet and uh, one uh, dressing space and uh, for that bedroom also we try to give a courtyard a view from the puja courtyard view and uh, from the uh, that bedroom itself uh, you can access to the open uh, balcony space that leads to the front space and you can create uh, you can get a large balcony space in the uh, front yard the site itself have to speak through the elevation also like means uh, 
uh, you are coming through the narrow space and uh, you are getting a broad space of uh, land so your house also should be like a, a parallel to your land so a broad elevation that we expected in this design so that's why we gave a, a jolly wall over there uh, with the color palettes of uh, terracotta and the mixing of uh, uh, gray shades of the colors uh, for a roofing structure as per the climatic condition of the Kerala as it is a contemporary kind of architecture we just give a one side slope structure also under that we paneled with the HPL sheets also to give an aesthetic appeal for the building this client's requirement is they just want a, a home uh, should be a, a solar powered and a solar water heater all the things equipment what all the newly adaptable uh, things that they just want in the design also so we adopted uh, solar paneling and uh, solar water heater and even the rainwater system also we provided over here we try to give uh, every residence uh, to give um, uh, two or three tones of two shades of colors like uh, uh, so uh, we just want to give a uh, terracotta color tone in the facade uh, so the matching color towards the terracotta is always the gray that i felt so gray and it will be blend with the white also so a gray white and terracotta colors we adopted in the facade and hpl sheet is also as a wooden shade it's almost have a uh, shade on with the terracotta and coming to the interior we just try to give them complete minimalistic uh, architecture minimalistic interior design inside the house and uh, with that we just want to vibrant colors of furniture that's why we give uh, we try to give the living rooms mustard yellow kind of furniture single seating in the family living room we give a, a blue tint shade of uh, l shaped sofa which is giving a comfortable seating and that kind of colors even in the bedrooms we give that kind of shades for the uh, even for the bed sheet also we give that kind of vibrant and uh, black contrast color we give we just give uh, windows also having the teak finish with uh, wooden finishes for the windows we try to give uh, even the staircase also we play, we try to give the wooden panelings and so uh, which is always giving a contrast while in the white uh, walls and all even on the handrails also we just give the top railing is a uh, wooden also so there is a blending of uh, the staircase just just want to be blend with the interior materials that we used some work to highlight the some walls we give the uh, textured cement textured walls also uh, the flooring that we done for it's a, also a gray kind of uh, cementitious kind of a tiles also so you will get a kind of a combination uh, like as you got in the front elevation like a uh, terracotta with a gray and white combination that kind of same combination that you are getting inside uh, interior space also which can which stand for the uh, word uh, minimalism so in bathrooms uh, we just give the same kind of uh, tile patterns uh, same like uh, same combination of uh, what we are used in the main flooring and all and uh, the wooden uh, textures that we used in the interiors in uh, master bedrooms we try to give the rain shower system and uh, that is also a uh, special requirement from the client itself for the hardscape uh, in the paver spaces we used uh, uh, katapa stones black stones we used there and uh, in the coming to the uh, dining out space uh, we use cobalt stones and having a lawn area in front of it which gives the contrast for and which gives much more importance to the seating space also Knowing the client is the most important thing uh, that I am uh, always doing in every uh, concepts and every project. Knowing the client and knowing the site. We just want to do like, uh, uh, we are just architect is a, a person who is uh, clubbing both the things, uh, site and their requirements and their dreams. That was the main thought. So anyhow, we just want to know them very well and who all are going to stay there, who all are going to use the spaces and uh, like that we just approach towards the project also parents who is having little retirement life uh, they are having some routine in their life daughters who is the young generation people they want comfortable space for uh, or working space or whatever the thing so at a common everyone coming together it's a home that's what we are thought uh, and so that's why we provide main 
mostly open spaces that we are giving in the houses and they are very satisfied for giving a good communication between each other.